So I thought today I would take a minute to show you another one of my fine art pieces. This one being from that Your Story project series that I shared with you last time. Um, just a little refresher, this series, rather than being self-portrait based, is to help tell other people's stories through a visual medium of composite photography. So this particular piece I did for my husband. It was the second piece I created in this series. Um, and my husband, being the good sport that he is, was willing to let me try and create a piece for him. Um, my husband has ADHD. And so if you know anything about, <clears throat> about ADHD, it's that there's often like a million thoughts buzzing through a person's mind. And sometimes it's hard for them to focus because there's just so much happening in their brain. Um, so I wanted to try and portray this in a way that I felt made sense for him. So you'll see that I set this up in our living room as per usual, which is why there's the hardwood floors and the chalkboard backdrop. I mainly wanted his surroundings to kind of darken and fade away. Um, and I did set this up with the light would have been up and to the right because I wanted it to be pretty like heavily downlit on him. So the next thing I did after I set, I mean, we set up this whole array. I wanted him to be surrounded by the ideas, kind of immobilizing him, much in the way that sometimes can happen when you feel overwhelmed by your thoughts and have so many thoughts passing through your mind. It can be hard to know where to start or where to go. Um, so that's why this is set up with everything around him on the floor. So the first thing I did is my normal passive actions that I've set up for all my images. So the first being uh, this set, it's a set of actions. If I open it, you'll see all of the steps in it. And then a warm color tone, my levels layer, and then I matted it out. I often use a matte layer in my fine art pieces um, just to kind of soften that contrast a little bit. And then I created a layer that basically flattened what I just did so that I could tweak that background. You'll notice there's a little bit of a hard line there from the paper and I wanted to get rid of it. Okay, so then the next thing I did was I wanted to emphasize that directional light a little bit more. Now you can see that it is quite apparent based on the shadows here that that light is coming from this direction, but I just wanted to make it more obvious and darken everything down more. So I took a channel mix layer and I set it to the black and white with orange filter, which is often what I do. And then uh, made it a multiply mode and brought the opacity down to 71%. So as so you can see what that looks like, the layer mask basically just masked off of him and some of the papers on the ground. Cause I really, again, wanted to emphasize that directional light. I then added a vignette that had a slight blue tone to it because I didn't want to warm it up too much. And then added another levels layer to brighten up those highlights and darken down the shadows even more. And you can see that here. It's not a lot, just nine on the shadows and then up to 247 on the highlights. Okay, now there was an intention for the back the blackboard backdrop and that was because I wanted to put those ideas behind him as well and kind of draw them on the chalkboard. Now when I first did this, this is a paper backdrop so I couldn't actually write on it um, and when I first did it I just like overlaid images from like Photoshop or vector art images but it looked too perfect. So what I ended up doing was I doodled on one of my own chalkboards to create the images I would put up on the blackboard behind him. Um, it just made it look more real and believable than the perfect lines of vector art. So this whole folder is those images. Um, and all of these are like relevant to him. So there's music related things, uh, part of his tattoo, stuff about his um, beliefs or heritage, comic book related things, because those are all things that are important to who he is and things that he thinks about a lot. Then I added words and you can tell they're very like fine because it's a single stroke for the letters. 
And again, I chose words that I felt were pertinent to him, things that he would be thinking about that might be running through his mind. Um, you'll see there's a couple of uh, like punctuation marks, and basically what, there you can see it, basically what these are is um, those fonts that turn pictures, uh, letters into pictures. Uh, I just wanted to add some more embellishments to the image, so I have a couple of those here, and then I went through and I created more images and doodles. Um, just to fill the space in, I wanted it to be full of imagery. <clears throat> I still wanted a little more directionality of light. I felt like this was too bright back here. So I created another layer, and this isn't a layered mass layer. It's just an open layer that I painted on. And you can see the opacity is at 45 and it's at multiply. So if I bring this all the way up, you can see how dark it is. And that's how I started with the layer was at 100% with a black brush. And then I dropped it down to 45 because that's where I felt like I wanted it to be. And then my last step was another warm vignette to really bring in those shadows and highlight the subject, which would have been Ryan. So that is the finished piece. Um, it's not as perfect as I would have liked. There's things that I would do differently. But for the second piece that I ever created and just starting to get a feel for what this series might look like, I was pretty pleased with how it turned out, especially with creating those chalkboard images behind him on just a small chalkboard and superimposing them behind him. It was a bit tedious, but I felt like the final product looked way better than where I started. Um, so yeah, if you have a story that you'd love to visually portray, I would love to collaborate with you and work on that. If you have ideas of things you'd like to see me share, I would love to hear those too. Please leave any of your thoughts or comments below. I, I love read hearing from you guys and I always try to respond back. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!